Hi guys, Korean movie recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap a Korean drama fantasy movie released in 2016, called Vanishing Time, A Boy Who Returned. This movie tells the story of a girl who has just transferred schools and is labeled a strange person by her new friends. However, a boy from another class befriends her and they fall in love with each other. One day, they and other friends went to the mountain and found a cave under a tree which led them to find a mysterious egg. Suddenly, the girl's friends disappear and a few days later, the boy she loves appears but has grown into an adult. How does it happen? What will happen next? Let's find it out together. The story begins by showing a girl arriving at her new home. She is Rin, an orphaned girl who has to move because of her adoptive parents' jobs. She continues the new school year at her new school. Nothing special on the first day of school. Rin prefers to stay away from the crowds and enjoys her own lunch. At school, her friends see Rin as a strange person, especially after they accidentally see her block which contains mysterious and nonsensical things. She always lives her daily life lonely until one day she meets Minute, a student from her school who lives in an orphanage. Unexpectedly since that meeting, the two have become closer and always spend time together. One day they found an empty house in the middle of the forest without worrying about anything else. There, they confess their feelings for each other and end with a sweet kiss. The next day, Rin met up with Minute and his friends. At that time they planned to go to a tunnel construction site to be blown up, where Rin's stepfather worked. Not long after, Rin left with them even though she was rejected because she was the only girl in the group. After walking through the forest, they finally arrived at the location closest to the tunnel. But they didn't hear a single explosion even though they had waited a long time. Until one moment, they found a small cave deep enough for them to enter. Arriving at the bottom of the cave, they were surprised to see an egg shining from the water. Then, Minute voluntarily dived in and took the egg. But the light of the egg was dim when they brought it to the surface. One of them named Tai said that this is a monster egg that can devour time. He learned this from his grandfather who told him that there would be a cave that would appear every full moon and they come at the right time. In the story, whoever enters the cave will lose time. Little children will grow up and adults will grow old. In the middle of the discussion, Rin returned to the cave to retrieve the hairpin from her mother that was left behind. Not long after that, suddenly an explosion shook the area and Rin quickly rushed out of the cave. Arriving at the surface, Rin's friends disappeared, leaving only a mysterious egg that had been split open. Shortly after, the parents of the missing children came to the construction site. They talked to the person in charge there who happened to be I and stepfather. They questioned the fate of their missing child in the construction area. After trying to explain the situation, Rin's stepfather is shocked to learn that one of the victims is his own daughter. The next day, the police and the expedition team searched for the whereabouts of the children. Unfortunately, they only found Rin unconscious. After his condition recovered, Rin explained all the events that had happened to him in front of the detective and his stepfather. Of course, that explanation was difficult for their common sense to accept and they didn't believe Rin's words. Not long after, Rin was given the opportunity to prove the existence of the cave and the remaining egg fragments he was referring to. But unfortunately, Rin forgot where the cave was. His parents were angry and thought he was making up stories. Suddenly, they got information that one of the victims was found dead. He is Wook, Min's friend who was found buried in the middle of the field. Surprisingly there were no scars and he was declared dead from his illness. Rin returns to her lonely life. Losing Minute makes her very sad considering he is the only friend Rin has right now. One day, Tai and Wook's clothes are found folded neatly in front of their house. The detective explains that he will analyze every CCTV footage to find out who is behind this incident. On the other hand, Rin was checking the state of the warehouse after she heard something. Not long after, she chased someone running into the forest and thought it was Minute who had returned. When Rin's leg is injured, a man calls out to her from a distance. He was Minute who had become an adult. Rin, who didn't know him, screamed and tried to run away. When Minute wants to give a book, Rin bites Min's hand and runs away from him. Minute who was trying to catch up finally stopped after Rin's father came from a distance. 
Panicking, Rin says that she is being followed by someone suspicious. Finally, from Rin's information, the police concluded that the tragedy of the child's disappearance was a kidnapping case. Shortly after, the police found a book and Rin confessed that it was her and started reading it. Turns out, the book contains Min's explanation of what happened to him and his friends. At that time, when Rin returned to the cave, Minit and his friends broke the egg to confirm the story. However, nothing but shockwaves shot out of the egg. Later, Minit enters the cave to invite Rin back. But strangely, everything there including Rin didn't move. When Minit comes out, he and his friends realize that time in their world has stopped. At first they thought it was something fun. Even though they seem free, in the end they understand that there are many things they can't do. Day after day they spent together, living in the mall and not having to worry about food. However, Wook's asthma is unavoidable. The inhaler couldn't blow the medicine for him. Until one day, Minute and Tai found him lifeless. Since then, Wook is buried in the middle of the field. Realizing that the previous man was Minute Rin rushes to meet her father and admits that the story was just a lie. The statement damaged her image and further strengthened the notion that she was a strange girl. She did this to save Minute from being chased by the police. Rin continues her reading where Minute and Tai live together year after year. So that time is not wasted, they learn to be independent, collect money, and count the days after waking up from their sleep. In their calculations, they would soon be 20 years old. That means they've already been declared adults and just like Tai's grandfather said, they'll be back soon. Then, they prepared everything and returned to the house in the middle of the forest where Minit and Rin often played together. But their waiting is getting erratic because time is not running. They wonder what mature concept could keep them coming back. They are increasingly depressed and almost crazy to face this reality. Until finally, Tai disappeared and Minit found Tai who had ended his life on a cliff. Minit decided to end his life too. But when he jumped into the water, time suddenly flew by. Tai continues to sink to the bottom of the ocean while Minit faints and wakes up on the beach. After living in silence for a long time, he became someone who was very sensitive to sound. After reading the story, Rin returned to the forest to look for Minit arriving there, she found Minit sitting and scared. Then, Rin approached him and she was crying. Likewise with Minit, because finally he was able to meet again with the person he loved all this time. Since then, Rin always took the time to meet with Minit. In order to live a normal life, Minit must convince his adoptive mother that he is the grown Minit Rin also tries to convince their friend that Minit is still alive and is an adult. But, their efforts are fruitless because Min's friend and adoptive mother do not believe. After that, Rin's father received a complaint that his daughter had spread lies about Min's return. It made him feel annoyed and locked Rin in her room. Soon enough, Rin was crying when Minit came to pick her up. She was disappointed that no one believed her. As they thought of another way, Rin remembered that when she returned to the cave, the reflection of light from the bottom of the water reappeared. She planned to take the egg and break it in front of many people so they could believe it. Minit, who knew very well how torturous it was to be there, rejected the plan. He prefers to be alone than involving many people. Finally, they decided to leave the island and start a new life. On the other hand, Rin's father accidentally saw Min's photo while looking at his daughter's phone. When he got home, he was surprised that his daughter wasn't home. Rin's father concludes that it was a kidnapping case. As Minit prepares for his needs, Rin's father appears and confronts him. They fight until Minit is forced to incapacitate him because Rin's father won't listen to him. The next day, the forest house is checked by the police after Rin's father tells the police what happened. Meanwhile, Rin and Minit are at the port to buy boat tickets. But unfortunately, they must have ID cards to buy tickets. At the same time, news of Rin's disappearance began to spread on television and the incident was claimed to be a kidnapping case by a mysterious man. When the two try to escape, the police find their location and start chasing them. After trying to escape, Rin was forced to give up and let Minit go. Arriving at the police station, the detective tries to convince Rin that Minit is a bad person trying to get close to her. Of course Rin dodged because she knew the truth. When she gets the chance, Rin runs away and rushes to the cave to retrieve the mysterious egg. She plans to stop time so she can grow up and acknowledge Minit in front of people. 
Minute, who noticed it also appeared and took the egg. He didn't want Rin to live a hard life. Shortly after, the police found them. When Rin tries to convince the police, one of them suddenly appears trying to catch Minute. The incident made Rin fall and the detective quickly grabbed her hand. Minute who also fell still held on and tried to save Rin. But unfortunately, the detective couldn't help it and they both fell. After stopping time, Minute helps save them both and leaves them on the beach. Since then, the media has highlighted Rin as the girl who helped escape the kidnapping suspect. Even if the detective started to believe in Rin, that fact wouldn't change much. That's why the detective asked Rin to tell the media that she was forced by the perpetrator to help her escape. Because that way, she will be free from the threat of citizens and can live life in peace. After graduating from school, Rin decided to continue her studies at a boarding school. Her relationship with her father also improved, and the film ends when Rin, who is on the ship, finds an old minute make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and see you, next time.